Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, why do I'm like, ooh, welcome back, welcome back, because that's weird, I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Today I decided to film, finally, for the 25 billionth time, um, my foundation, contour, and highlight routine. This is my foundation and highlight routine, find foundation, contour, and highlight routine that I do, um, honestly, whenever I do my makeup, when I'm doing, like, full face. I've actually filmed this video about... Honestly, I think about this might be the fourth time I've tried to film it. Um, the other times I filmed it, they've just been like super out of focus or I didn't like how it came out or like it was just kind of all over the place. Um, and I finally found a routine that I really, really, really like. Um, I love strong contours, but sometimes I don't like when there really looks like a really like sharp line. I like them to look a little bit more on the natural side, but still super glammed up. And honestly, to answer the question of contouring is it worth the hype, Hell yeah, it's worth the hype. I love contouring. It's not so much because it's like, ooh, I want to look skinny. I want this. I want that. It's like, no, it's fun, I think, too, especially for people like me who have a super, super round face. I think it's cool to give yourself some definition, and highlighting is, like, all the rage right now. So, yeah, your highlight has to be flaking all the time. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you like these kinds of things, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see how I do my full coverage, flawless face, contour, highlight routine, just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with a clean face. I already have my eyebrows on, and if I was doing eyeshadow, I would do my eyeshadow and stuff first, but I'm not. So, I'm going to pick a primer today. My three favorites are the NYX Angel Veil, the Benefit Professional, and the Mirabella Prime. I also really enjoy the Nivea um, Men's Shave Balm, but I left mine in California. So today I'm going to use my Benefit Professional and my Mirabella Prime. Um, I like to just get my hair out of my face because or else I normally get foundation in it. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Professional and I'm going to put it basically in my T-zone and where my foundation creases. So it's going to be on my cheeks, um, my chin, and my forehead and in between my eyebrows. I try not to put it um, like on the outer parts of my face and not a lot on my nose as well. And then I'm just going to push that into the skin, um, I guess, and kind of disperse the product evenly. Um, I put it on my eye, not my eye, my forehead, because I get really bad creases in my forehead. Like, basically it's like my angry face that I have on all day. It just creases really bad. And then I am rubbing the Mirabella basically all over the place. Like, it makes it so that my foundation goes on really, really smooth. So for foundation, um, my two favorites right now are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, which is super, super matte. Um, it is a little light for me right now, but um, it has amazing coverage and is a great drugstore one. But I am going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This foundation is amazing. It photographs well. It keeps me pretty matte all day, and it has awesome coverage. I either um, apply mine with a flat top kabuki or just a um, beauty sponge, beauty blender, however you want to do it. But I'm going to choose the um, brush today because I have just been liking it more than the sponge. The sponge, um, I find with the moisture in it, leaves me a little bit more on the dewy side and I don't really like my foundation to be like that. <laughs> so I'm going to just start dotting it all over my face. I did about a pump and a half and I'm going to concentrate it more in the middle and then I'll take that brush and I will disperse it outwards so that most of the coverage and um, I guess oil control is in the middle of my face and not around the edges. Also a tip to keep your foundation um, full coverage is to stipple on the parts that you want more coverage on, so kind of dabbing it instead of buffing it all around because you will disperse the product a bit more evenly, even if you do want a more, more full coverage on that particular spot. And I wanted a little bit more coverage on my um, cheek area and a little bit on my forehead. So I took barely any foundation and I'm just dotting it on my cheeks and on my forehead. And as you'll see, I'm kind of more stippling it on rather than doing circular motions and buffing it in. This will keep that coverage um, pretty heavy but not like cakey heavy. There's a difference. And of course, like I said earlier, that primer is going to keep it from creasing too bad um, on all my fine lines. The bronzer that I'm going to use, and this is just gonna, um, I found, adds a really good base for blending my contour in so it's not a really, really stark line. Um, this is the NYC Sunny Bronzer, really good drugstore brand. I think it's like $3. And I'm gonna put that um, on 
in the creases of my cheeks. That was cool. Either way, I'm going to define my cheekbones with that, and I'm also going to take it around my hairline um, to make my forehead, well, to attempt to make my forehead a little bit smaller. And I'm also going to contour the bottom of my chin and my jawline. Of course, using my NYX Contour Palette, I have switched shades, so I'm going to use that one that my brush is on. All of them work really well, depending on your skin tone, but that's one that I've been choosing. I like to start at the top of my ear and go down towards the corner of my mouth. That is how I have found where my cheekbone lies. Everybody's um, is kind of different, so just kind of find yours. And I'm going to use a lot of um, light brush strokes, sometimes even in like little circular motions. And I found that that um, airbrushes the contour really, really, really well. So I'm just going to put this one underneath my cheekbones and then I will also do the sides of my nose somewhere in here. And somehow I forgot my concealer. So normally I would have done this right after my foundation, um, but it's totally fine if you do it this way too. It's not really going to mess anything up. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand, and I'm going to make two triangles underneath my eyes. Um, I'm going to bring it upwards a little bit because it is going to act as a highlight, and I'm also going to bring it around the sides of my nose. I'll also do a little bit on the jawline just to um, define that contour a little bit on my forehead as a highlight, down my nose as a highlight, and also on my chin. When I do my concealer, I use a Miracle, well, I guess a beauty sponge. Um, this really airbrushes the concealer out. I do not like chunky concealer, and I also didn't want it to be too stark. So these sponges are amazing for blending concealer out. Super airbrush, super smooth. Um, and it blends it right into your foundation so that it doesn't look like you have triangles on your face, essentially. And as you can see right underneath that contour, it's going to really, really define it. Um, but I end up blending it out kind of anyway so that it's not too stark. <laughs> and then to set everything, this is going to prevent creasing and keep it on all day. I like to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in buff beige. I think I diff um, I got a different color this time. I don't know why. But I'm going to put that underneath my eyes pretty heavily and don't try and blend it. Really just pack it instead of rubbing it everywhere because you might um, disturb that product. And I'm going to put that everywhere that I put concealer. If I was to do this before I did my bronzer and contour, I would probably put it all over my face. But this foundation actually um, sets very matte. So luckily I didn't have to do that. So... And then I'm just going to take another brush and pack it a little bit more just to set that entire highlight area so that it does not go anywhere. And this powder does have a little bit of coverage, um, not too much, but a little bit. For blush today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Rich Rose. This is one of my favorite blushes. I feel like I always come back to it when I kind of veer off and try something else. I've decided that I do not like putting blush on the apples of my cheeks. I really put it almost right over top of that contour and blend it back upwards towards my ear and my hairline. And that is how my face shape likes to have blush on. It looks much nicer. And then I'm going to take a brush and just blend out all the harsh lines. You can take a stippling brush and do this. I'm using a Real Techniques one. For um, a more intense highlight, I'm taking the two highlight shades, the matte ones, in my NYX contour palette. And I'm going to put that um, underneath the contour. And as you see, I kind of blend up over it as well and then um, it was a little out of focus when I put it underneath my eyes but I packed it underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna blend it off it's kind of like baking but not because it's not a loose powder it's a um, um, what's it called it's a set powder compact powder, press powder there we go <laughs> it's a pressed powder so um, there wasn't a lot of loose stuff on there but I didn't want it to look super powdery and then I'm going to take that same contour shade from the next contour palette and do my nose. So I'll go down the sides and I will also go right underneath the tip. For my highlight, I'm going to use my So So Susan um, Highlight Stick in Starlight. I got this in a boxy charm and I kind of tried it one day and I haven't been able to put it down. So I love it. So I found that you kind of just have to feel your own cheekbones and look at the shape of your face and that's where you're going to put it. Um, I like a pretty intense highlight, so this is a base for my powder highlight. I'm going to put it on my cheekbones, blend it upwards, and if you get it a little bit on your blush, that is totally fine. Um, it's actually going to make your cheekbones look a lot, I don't want to say bigger, but for lack of a better term, bigger. And then I'm going to also put it on my nose. I've been loving the nose highlight as well, so I'm just going to blend it upwards. 
And then I'm kind of blending that highlight in so it's not um, kind of like a shimmery line because I've done that before and I don't like it. Of course, I'm going to use my Becca Champagne Glow Palette and I'm going to take Champagne Pop and that is going to be the main highlight. I'm going to put that right over the top of that Starlight Stick. Um, and as you can see, you can already tell, like, I have a cheekbone when in reality, I really don't. Um, so I'm just going to lightly blend that over the top of that Starlight color right on top of my cheekbones and I'm going to take the color pearl and put that at the very peak of my cheekbone just for um, more of an added pop to it. Adds lots of dimension. Then of course my cupid's bow and I also did the tip of my nose and that is what your end result is going to look like. And that is the end of my foundation routine. I hope you guys learned something and you guys really enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.